Zeri, Caitlin Alms, John Natale, uh, first player to actually be interviewed here on the post game show. It's normally just the coach and I, uh, but another two goals, another assist. Uh, I said on the air, you like the spotlight, apparently. Or Thursday is a good day for you. You guys in the uh, second half, 20 seconds in, what did Coach say that you came on out, just boom, 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 got the goal, and kind of just really deflated me. We probably had a game plan come in, and then 20 seconds later it was gone, and now you guys are up to nothing. It was a little inspirational boost, and then it came out, and we really had to do it to take care of business, and the first goal was to score a goal, and to play good, and that's what we came out What is it about this? What did you tell us? I, I like the crowd, I like, I like playing <laughs> at night. Good All right, well, we're going to let you go. Caitlin right. Alves, another five points here. Now we're going to bring in the head coach, still undefeated. Um, you guys come out, score the early goal, and then 20 seconds in. What did you say to them at halftime? Because it was probably the most aggressive that I seen you guys in the second half start. Yeah, you know, it was just a, we needed to pick up the intensity, and I, I challenged each one of them to play better. I think that was, that was the biggest thing. I think we didn't play well as a team, but individually, players didn't play well. So it was a challenge set to them. And, well, the entire time I thought uh, Maine uh, didn't take any good shots. They maybe had two quality shots the entire time, and obviously the brick wall by uh, the defense and Aaron Quinn that got banked up just a little bit uh, still stepped on up, and they report their 11th shutout in the 14 games. Looking great. Maine, 11th shutout in 14 games. You know, we do a good job of uh, keeping teams away from our goals, so and in doing that, we get shutouts. What was the one thing, uh, the one thing consistent from me they kept applying pressure, 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 but uh, just for some odd reason they could never get any quality going. They started taking shots. I guess I, I made a similar uh, assessment in Fairfield in the first half. They were taking a lot of 20-yard uh, shots. And what did you guys do different to make sure that they couldn't get any closer shots besides that one? Uh, you know, actually, it wasn't the defense. We don't mind taking 30, 40 yards on us. We'll, we'll take that. Um, Maine did press, uh, it caused a little bit of problems in the first half, but uh, we needed to keep the ball. We have to do a better job keeping the ball if we can do that. We can manage the ball, and we can pump the passes, you know, we can break them down a bit more. Easily. You guys got uh, one more home game. It'll be Senior Day coming up on Sunday when you guys hit the road. Uh, anything special that you're going to be doing from now until then to make sure that you can do your stuff here at home before you hit the road against all the you can do? You know, we have, what, three? Off. So, like I said, the most important thing, um, we're going to get rest recovery, get into the training room. We're going to organize ourselves in the next couple of days because we can have a week off as uh, a result of us being a little shaky. Uh, so, we'll just organize ourselves and, and hopefully we're ready to go for something next. All right, well, that's John Italian, Brian Rosario. He's a happy man. Big smiles here as the Hartford Hawks remain undefeated, not only overall, but in America East play. And stay tuned to HartfordHawks.com. They should be moving up in the rankings yet again.